Welcome to this course from In 28 Minutes. I can tell you that In 28 Minutes has 90,000 plus students, 6,500 plus 5 star reviews on our courses and over 10 hours of content in this course. But these numbers do not make a difference to you and your learning unless you make the best use of this course. We recommend you to set one goal for yourself and commit at least 28 minutes a day to learn something new. I'm of course kidding. I'm a great believer that if you learn something new for at least half an hour every day, you'd reach the top 5% of any career path you would choose. And in 28 minutes was the closest domain name I got. Now, the story aside, set yourself a goal and a reward. Now, I will tell you why this course should be what you should be doing for that half an hour you have committed. 65% of the new Java projects use Spring and Spring Boot. A big chunk of the RESTful APIs, web services and microservices are being built with Spring and or Spring Boot. 300% is the increase in number of microservices that are being built with Spring Boot in the last two years. 70% is the percentage of real-world projects using Maven to manage dependencies and Git as version control. I would recommend forking the GitHub repository of the course and I recommend you like it too to make me happier. We are in the world of microservices where we create a number of small microservices. And that's what we do in this course too. We create a number of small projects to ensure you have the skills to set up a new project from ground up. Now, I'll end this video with a couple of recommendations. A big chunk of the audience for this course is starting developers. In the initial part of the course, we repeat a few important concepts. If you are an experienced programmer, have some patience for the first hour or so, and we should be good to go. The other important thing we would want you to know is that you would retain 90% of the concepts if you watch the videos, do the steps along with me, and repeat it again. If you have made it until here, it's time to open up your calendar and reserve at least half an hour to learn every day. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.